Hey everybody, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Ash in the top lane. And the reason I'm going to be playing Ash top is because I don't like fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, uh, I'm going to be making use of Ash in the top lane with the new Rage Blade. Which this item granting a mix of armor and magic penetration. Good for, you know, we get a little bit of magic damage with our arrow, but more so for the fact that all the on-hit items for crit are absolutely broken. And also, um, Ash against Garen seems pretty good. So, Garen could use his, uh, his Q to remove my slow one time, and then I'm just gonna slow him again. And then I'm gonna slow him again, and it's just gonna be a constant poke. So, I'm starting to think I probably should have taken present to mine for this matchup, but, eh, that's what it is. So, the Gurn inadvertently started shoving the wave. I'd say fine, just, like, strip fighting him here. Okay, that is... <laughs> that, wait, I just, I just ran the Garen down! No one escapes winter. Okay, well, there we have it. So, waves is uh, on my side. The Garen does have TP. But, here, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Okay? If you wanted to learn how to, like, really abuse enemy top and switch to effective wave control. And even, like, since I know that Garen has TP, I won't be able to shove that wave all the way in to be able to deny him in turret because he's going to TP and get the wave. And then I won't be able to go back and get my items. But there, I backed instantly. And I'm missing, what, two minions here? Yeah, and I'm, then I'm going to be able to pick up... I picked up that minion worth XP. And, I mean, that's what matters at the end of the day. Like, making sure I get the experience is more effective than getting all that gold. I went ahead and I was able to buy my spike, my item. Now, I didn't take magical forward and this guy's building, but he obviously knows, like, he's got to get on to me, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to constantly just poke him over and over again and i'm gonna use the passive that ash has to just slow over and over again uh let's see udyr i did not see where udyr started i think the garen started in lane so udyr might be pathing towards top so that is something i have to watch it for because ash top lane is uh a little bit susceptible for jungle gank. Now it is an Udyr. It's not something that's gonna just dash at me like a like a like a Rengar or something. Okay, actually, we see Udyr here. I still have Ghost. Neither me nor Garen have our flash up. Wow, this must be so annoying for Garen. Actually, wait, is Ash top like low key a counter to Garen? Like, I'm not even joking. Like. It, there really doesn't seem much for Garen to do. Like, maybe if Garen went, like, Phase Rush, he had, like, Unflinching, he went Swifty Boots, he went uh, Ghost Flash, anything to just try to stick on me. Sure. But what are the odds of him knowing that it was going to be Ash Top? Like, he might have thought it was a Nautilus Top, which is why he went Conquer, right? Wait a second. Wait, this is actually brilliant. Yeah, he totally thought it was gonna be uh totally thought it was gonna be a uh, like a Nautilus tap that's why Gyrdus runes this way. Okay. Well I already have it. Now I do still have to watch out for Okay, he's just dead. <laughs> it's a slow and painful death. Garen's like, okay, I'm running out of HP. Let me, let me try going for an all-in. And then it's just... Yeah. That just looks like misery, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, still have to watch out for potentially Udyr coming in. Udyr can use his, his Empowered E. Wait. Can I, wait, can I just do the same thing in Udyr? I think I just kill him. Oh, yeah, I just killed him. <laughs> okay, I think, um, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta watch out for action roaming top. 
Looks like he's actually he actually died once, didn't he? Maybe he died on the room or something? We're not gonna go for Rageblade first. We're gonna go probably for something like Kraken Slayer. That way we can get the extra damage um onto the onto the Garen. Because Garen is gonna get pretty tanky and I don't wanna take five thousand years to kill him. So we're just gonna build straight into on hit. I have magical full worse, so I can't build boots, I can't build uh, Zerkers or what have you. Oh, there it is. At the call with the all one. There we are. So I'll be able to get my boots at 945. And not only am I slowing, like, I can kite extra far back with Ash. And because I took a approach velocity, I'm constantly slowing my opponent. So I'm constantly getting 15% 15 move, 15 move speed going towards him. So on top of the slows and everything, it's just, it's going to be a hard time. Looks like Garen and the Action might have just permanently swapped lanes. Actually, wait, no. Okay, Garen's just covering one wave mid. I mean, he's probably just waiting for the wave to shut back here. Now, Garen has time to regen. So he can, like... And he still has good CS. Like, look at this. He's still got 41 CS. So he's still scaling, and he's still getting his armor in MR. And I do eventually have to worry about him, uh, like, potentially, like, flashing on me for an all-in. Especially when he gets, like, Stridebreaker. But I'm gonna make his life a living hell until then. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> and because of lethal tempo, and I, I can just stack that up, like, he just... I can just walk away, right? So, I waited to use my ultimate until he got far enough away from turret where he was kind of committed and going on to me. And then I just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Garen's having a bad day. Now, I don't have ult. I have Ghost Step soon, so maybe I can cut out the Uder. Okay, Uder's not cut. If Uder is right here, I'd just die, by the way. That's a struggle with Ash Top. You know, let's, uh, should probably use my E a little bit more. Scout it out a little bit. Okay, we see Uder's heading for Red Buff. So we can go for a Play Bot. And let's see. Probably just, let's go Zerks. I'm going to E here, which should reveal this and reveal Rift. If uh, you're just going for that. Okay. I thought it'd reveal a little bit more distance, but. Let's see. I need to remember to get Blue Trink on my hit 9. Okay, so he's got Tabbies. It's going to be pretty tanky. Oh no. Fiddle 6 is not in range. Show them the power of an iceborn. An ally has been slain. Making sure that no one's just sitting in the bush. So it's like, there are two ways Garen can kill me. One, he gets like rotation from Axiom. Okay, well, that's looking kind of bad. Okay, the. Is ghost. The Axiom could be close and invisible. Ooh. Okay, never mind. He's here. He's got to play safe. So, Axe Chop can be absolutely ridiculous against, like, an immobile champion like Darius or, or, or Garen or, you know, something that's not just going to dash on me and just kill me instantly. Everything else I could just, like, kite really well. I think there actually is a Ash one trick. I think he's only in, like, Diamond 1 or, like, Low Masters or something. But... I have seen an Ash one trick play top, and I've played against him as Trinimir, and I've actually lost against him. I'm trying to remember what his name is at the top of my head. Maybe some of the YouTube comments watches his stream or something, but. Okay. Garen is just like, he's experiencing the full seven layers of hell that is Ashtop. 
the action got cut out in River. I was able to snag a kill on him with the, uh, the fiddlesticks. Okay. So, now I've got this. I could go into Rage Blade now. But honestly, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the enemy team dirty here. I think I'm gonna do the enemy team dirty here. So there's this item called Storm Razor that will give me an insane amount of move speed, along with, you know, giving move speed for approach velocity. That can help me kite back as well. So even if he's building Stripe Breaker, he'll never even get in range to use the Stripe Breaker, unless he flashes on me. In which case, I'll just flash back. Um, let's see. I'm gonna cover mid wave. And then I'm gonna go top. The Akali wasn't gonna be able to cover those minions. She's just gonna lose them all. I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna cover top. Let's see. Let's get a little vision on bot jungle. I think that's where Uter went. Yeah, Uter's there. So now we know for sure that Uder isn't bot, so Fiddlesticks could look for a bot gank. So Uder may have gone here. So I checked this bush and this bush at the same time. If I stay in the very center of the lane, like right in the melee minions, there's no way that Garen can get on me. Let's have too much kite. So that is all cleared. Garen's not in this bush. What is goodness for trying to do better? Action's dead, so I don't have to worry about invis coming up. Remember, I've got first velocity. And I've got Kraken Slayer. And the more often I auto attack this Garen consecutively with the Kraken Slayer, he's just gonna take more and more magic damage. I mean, that's half health from three autos. Okay. Oh, Garen flashes down again. I had to flash there because if the Uter gets on me with the Demonic Brace in Prox's Phase Rush, I think I just die. I, ult, I flashed away first and then used my ulti. That way I can get a little bit more of a stun since it charges with range. And now I have Stormraiser. So Stormraiser can give me even more move speed and more kite potential. And now I'm going to build Rageblade. So the reason I waited so long to build Rageblade is Rageblade converts crit chance into damage. So, I need to build crit chance first, so I built two crit items. Now I'm going to build Rage Blade. And now this armor and magic pen, this is where the magic pen comes in. Yeah, I've got ult, obviously, but my Kraken Slayer and my Storm Racer do magic damage. And my on hit from my Rage Blade also does magic damage. So having that pen along with these on hit items is extremely important. That's why I don't build an item like Gale Force. Uh, I forgot to... <laughs> Whoops. I, uh, misclicked. <laughs> oh. I don't think he wins that. I think I help Akali kill the Uter here, and then I can go in and kill the Yumi. Yumi is having a sad day. Okay. Level 6 is back up. Let's go for drag. And then we can go for rift. I'm gonna hawk shot the rift. Whoops. I am not even auto attacking the dragon because that target jam is only on. I'm gonna hawk shot this to make sure they aren't doing this. And let's contest here. Okay, they aren't doing it. We'll make in time. Need to look for good arrows elsewhere. I don't like doing cross map arrows unless like I build CDR, like I'm playing like support ash. 
But if, like, an on-hit Ash build, you basically just want to save your arc to, like, help you kite in a team fight, Or to engage when it's, like, you know, basically some, something that's, like, basically on your screen. So it's a more guaranteed that you hit it. Oh, that is, uh, that is a Yumi by herself. What the? I guess Yumi was walking into Ward? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's unlucky. So I think I'll just group here. Samira's gonna get this objective Benny bot. We can push in. We can maybe even get a full inhib. I don't even know if getting a full inhib would be great. this point, but we'll see. Oh my god, my damage is insane right now. So right now my crit chance is granting me extra slow, so we're gonna sacrifice that for bonus damage. The rage button. Ow. Uh, let's back. It's not even worth going for the inhib, and if we give Samara triple, she has enough damage where if she gets a... she gets a reset, it's kind of over for us. And we just use our cooldowns, and I'm staying on 3 people. Inhib this early on is just gonna be free super minions for them to farm, so not the best. So, we're gonna go... I think I need to build a zeal item. So we can kill like Phantom Dancer for a little bit extra move speed, a little bit extra kite. I think it'd be a pretty good item to build. That'll help with my on hit abilities. Give me a ton of attack speed. Like, what's my attack speed right now? My attack speed's 1.9. And then like fully stacked lethal tempo will probably take me to 2.5. Uh oh. Woo! That that's that's, uh, that's something I don't want to be a part of. I can't use my R on Samira because she'll just, just block it. Gonna be until Baron. Samira might be able to kill him. I don't want to walk in here, dear. Okay, got the slow. Got the slow, activates my approach velocity, I'm able to get my Storm Razor. Okay. Uh, he's got Ghost on as well. I uh, gotta watch out for I need to stay very max range against, uh, this guy. Oh, am I, I think I'm slowed by, or I'm exhausted by Yumi. Okay, well, we killed him for that. It's fine. Oh no, the Garen came back. He's getting his revenge. Garen got revived back, Shan. Oh, that's so tragic. Garen got revived by, uh, by action and came with a flank, killed Nautilus. Let's play for drag. If I had Fan Dancer here, then I don't I don't get kited. So every crit item I get from now on is gonna add an extra magic damage with the Rage Blade. So even just having the zeal, give me that 15% crit. Will be boost speed too, help kite, help stick. Should, uh, should have me some kills. So, let's grab Red Buff. Red Buff just adds in a little bit extra damage. Yeah, I mean, I could leave it for MF, but MF, like, she's going with Aldi, so she's just... She's basically an ult bot. Okay. Uh, they got three top. Udyr's bot, though, so I guess they're just getting the uh, top dart.
I'm gonna watch top. Maybe we can, uh... I think we can just go in for Baron. Oh. Just barely missed the Garen. Uh, I just... I, I, sh I set myself earlier. I shouldn't deal with the cross map ones. Malt's a 60 or 80 second cooldown. I didn't go ult I didn't go uh, domination for ultimate hunter. I went to first velocity just to help stick on the Garen for a top lane. Yeah, they're not even here. Make sure we're not getting flanked or anything here. Right, I got PD. Group mid push. So let's get this. Let's get blue trinket so we have even more vision. So we got the vision with hawk shot. So right now my on hit damage 120 magic damage on hit. 208 magic damage every third hit, scaling up to 416. And then of course we have uh, Storm Ranger giving us extra move speed and the uh in the on hit magic damage proc and we are doing like probably like 600 magic damage proc right now the ice is not pain it is surrender no point leading with my uh r oh wait we just saw yumi top okay actually it's looking to split we should just keep going i mean if they're not gonna defend we could just end straight up like, we don't have to answer the split. I blocked you, me, from going back in. Onto action with my, uh, ability there. Oh my god, I just killed- I just killed action in two autos. I do so much damage. <laughs> I do so much damage, what?! Just two autos and action, dead. Holy shit. There you go, that's Ash top. I thought I was trolling, but... Apparently not too much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.